Hey there, thanks for watching this one cool thing video on the IPVO document cameras. We have two different document cameras. Here we have, first of all, the V4K. This is a USB only document cam. It's kind of a stripped down, uh, cheap, easy to move around. It packs up really nicely uh, and can be used in a variety of different settings. The way this works is basically you plug in via USB to your computer and then you project on uh, your monitor or your screen uh, using the visualizer app that I'll talk about in this video. Um, the other dock cam that we have is the VZR. This is a little bit bigger. It doesn't have as much mobility, um, but this way you can project one of two ways. You can plug in via the HDMI directly to your projector or your screen. That's the case. These are the only features you have available for use. You can turn on the light, you can change some of the filters, you can rotate the image, you have some zoom functionality, you can change the brightness contrast, the exposure, and you can auto-focus. And you do have an on-off switch. Um, if you are using it in HDMI mode, you also will need to plug in the USB cable and then plug that into an outlet. Uh, the other way that this can be used is by taking that USB and plugging it directly into your computer. So in this case, you don't plug the HDMI in, you actually plug the HDMI in to your computer. So now what you're doing is you're going from document camera to your computer, and then from your computer then to your projector. And what you'll use is the visualizer app, and that's what I'm gonna show you here. So here I am. I'm projecting my agenda for this session right here. Now, uh, the Visualizer app is projecting on the screen right now. So this is what my students would be seeing, um, which is the same thing that I'm seeing. So now I'm getting more functionality than what is just on the device itself. Uh, so I'll just kind of run through uh, on the bottom. Well, the first thing to pay attention to is right here we have a camera. So if I click this, I can take a picture of what I have right here. Um, perhaps I want a better quality, maybe I want to scan it. So if I choose this option right here, I can scan and save as a PDF. Um, and I can uh, record a video. If I want to record a video, all I have to do is click record. It's going to immediately ask me where I want to save it. Um, I'm not going to record the video right now because it'll crash my computer because I'm recording a video at this moment. Um, one thing I've noticed is that sometimes the audio doesn't work, so you want to make sure that you are uh, going to actually record. So if you go to your settings, if you're on a Mac, uh, this is how you would do it. You would go to sound, and you want to make sure the input is set to either the VZR or your internal microphone so that it's actually recording the audio. Um, at that point, you should be good to go. Now, if you want to adjust some of the settings for your video, you can come up to the little gear icon, and here's where you can uh, determine where you want to store it. You can specify the file format, and if you click on recording, you can also uh, determine the resolution and, and the, the file quality. Continuing on, you can also do slow motion. You can do a live broadcast straight to YouTube using this. You can do a time lapse. You can scan QR code. It does have some text to speech, uh, which actually works pretty well considering. It's not perfect, but uh, you might use that a little bit. You can magnify onto one particular spot in, in really great detail. Uh, it's super intense with the magnification. Uh, you can also do a slow uh, stop motion as well as a slow motion. So if you do stop motion, you can take a picture, move it, take a picture, move it, take a picture, move it, etc. Now moving on to the bottom right hand corner, some of the other features that you have. You can uh, turn on the light. If you use the little snowflake here, you can freeze the image. So here you take a picture of it. Uh, it's like a temporary picture. I can remove the document. So this is great for, say, I have a really good example of student work. I can take a picture, uh, or 
I can bring it up, freeze it, pull it away, give it back to them. We can talk about it up on the screen when I'm done. All I have to do is unfreeze. Next is uh, launch picture within a picture. So this feature, if I click on this, now it will record me. So maybe I'm recording a video uh, for my students because I'm going to be absent. Here I could be doing my lesson on my sheet of paper, but then it could also record me speaking to them. So I can use the built-in camera. Then you have this option right here. This is a, like a highlighter. So here, if I'm going down a body of text, I can use the line and the highlighter. If I click on it again, I can get a blackout. So now they're only seeing what I'm highlighting here. I also have the ability to add grid lines. And then I have right here the autofocus. Last features over here on the left, I can change the input of the camera. So I could use my built-in camera if I wanted. Um, I can zoom through here in addition to the zoom on the de device itself. I can rotate the image. I can change the resolution, even the shape of the image. I can make it custom or square or, or what have you. Uh, again, I can change the exposure and the white balance. I can do manual focus in addition to the autofocus and then less important but kind of cool I, I can do different video filters to really enhance my video. And then right here, it does also link to the IPVO website where there's lots of good information. Uh, last thing up here, you have the ability to go full screen. You can actually launch another window. Um, you have kind of settings. You can get information about what it's currently recording. And then mode puts it into this kind of weird full screen mode. I'm not really a, a huge fan of it. That's the quick overview. Um, there are more resources here. So I have linked to IPVO support, their blog. There's lots of other videos on their YouTube channel. Um, bottom line, just uh, plug it in and start playing. You'll kind of figure out the features and uh, find out what works for you. If you want a one-on-one -on -one overview, practice, make sure it works in your settings uh, and, and your context just reach out. Here's my email. I'm happy to help. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.